is now on social media under hashtag vacant title match. Both men enter this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. We have a championship title without a home, but that's all about to change after this. Enough talk, let's get it on. And no matter what, these are the types of nights they'll write about in the WWE annals for years to come. First time for everything, I guess. Well, let's quit in on Andre the Giant. I can't wait to see how this one plays out, Michael. Both of these guys look like they refuse to lose here tonight. Andre was under 15 years, a global attraction, and the first ever inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame. How's that for a resume? He's inflicting some serious pain here. He catches him with the axe handle. I can tell you from experience that being in the ring with Andre the Giant is no walk in the park. He's just so overpowering that it's difficult to get any real offense going against him. The fight's being brought right to him. No kidding, this is tough. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. You're not the only one who's had trouble finding a counter for Andre's power. Some of the biggest men in this industry have found themselves overpowered by the eighth wonder of the world. Well, you got that right. Andre's overpowered everybody from Ernie Ladd to Big John Studd to King Kong Bundy and a whole host of other super heavyweights. There's just no matching his combination of size and strength. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. This one is being waved off. Guess the match didn't even matter. Or it didn't even happen.